Hey everybody, welcome back to the Physics 7 Lab. We're continuing our discussion today of mechanical energies. We've been doing a lot of modeling systems with energy interaction diagrams. Energy interaction diagrams are great and they can tell us a lot, but they can't tell us everything. And this demonstration is going to show us why that's the case. These two tracks are identical in every way, except that this track is wider than this track. Similarly, these two balls are identical in every way that matters to physics. As far as mechanical energy is concerned, the change in height between the top of this track and the bottom of the track is the same as the change in height for the top of this track to the bottom of the track. So if we were to draw an energy interaction diagram for a ball rolling down this track and a ball rolling down this track, we would expect that they would look the same and therefore that the outcomes would be the same. Let's see if that matches with reality. First off, ask yourself the question, do you think that these balls will roll down the track at the same speed or that one will move faster than the other? And if so, which one will it be? Let's try it out and see what happens. As we can see, the billiard ball rolling down this track rolled much faster than the billiard ball rolling down this track. But based on our model, there's no reason that that would be the case. So what's going on? Let's watch this one more time in slow motion. I'm not going to tell you why the billiard balls behave the way they do, but by watching this slow motion video, you should be able to get a sense for what is going on. Work in your groups to try to come up with an explanation for what we're missing in our energy interaction model. 